I sat there contemplating on whether or not this was a game for me, and I sat there just wondering, am I man enough to play this game? And uh, here we are. I guess I'm man enough to play this game, baby. I ain't even gonna lie to you, I'm scared. Welcome everybody to Fears to Fathom. I am Bark Lookout. Now this is a game that a lot of people have been requesting. And by a lot, I mean literally like only two people. Now, truthfully, we have played Home Alone, Norwood, Hitchhike, Carson House, I am Bark Lookout is the one that we're playing today. I played literally all the games here, but we haven't played this one and it just came out. Fierce to Fathom, episode four, I am Bark Lookout. May 12. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fierce to Fathom, Carson House. Hold on, which YouTuber? Was it me? No, no, hell no. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far, I was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was only the sense of home I had at the time. This one time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two-hour drive. Damn, that's how we started? And we get to drive the RV? Okay. Hey. Um, uh, interesting. You got a little beat. Oh, Kayla Nelson. Hold on. Who texted me? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay. So we got a couple messages uh, from Mitch. Uh, congratulations on transferring. Feeling ready for the change. Just reaching out to you to let you know that you've been signed to Tower 1211. Welcome aboard. This is Mitch, by the way, from Iron Bark. Thank you. Heard a lot about you uh, from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts at 12 on the 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything uh, I need to know? Have your papers. Just bring your ID. Uh, Josh told me the job is not news to you. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry, I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who uh, they are. Hold on, these, these tunes are really messing up my reading skills right now. Guess they're better off in a cubicle. Okay, to be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year not knowing that what to expect from the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong, and I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Iron Bar. Good. I hope you fare uh, better than the last lady. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on a Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by Gatey. Got it. And from there, you'll be on the foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach the tire. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably uh, see Billy at the gate. Just show me ID. Okay, so Billy, Part D. Park D, whatever, I got it all. Kayla Nelson, whoa. What's all this? Hold on, look, we got some reading to do. The new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature, always away from people, just getting paid to watch the wind go by. I wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm not gonna lie, like halfway through that, he started like, Yapping. <laughs> what do you mean yapping? Like, I don't know like, what he was talking about. I wish my job was really that easy. Okay, I'm honestly done with the job. Pretty sure joining you next season. Hey, he, like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need uh, need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely time for a change. Speaking of change, hold on. What's this photo? Jack Nelson. Okay. Iron Bark Fire Department. Fire Lookout Station of Washington. Iron Bark. They're staffing me to Iron Bark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah. I heard uh, they got some bigger staff cabins and less campers. Sorry, it's a lot of reading. Uh, with that, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Um, still on the way. Van decided to pull with flat tire on me today. Is it late? If I don't start the devil program, I'll be fine. Did you pass those book yet? No, why? Woo! Okay, now that we caught up with the reading. 
Hey. Man, screw that hoe. We don't even need her. I lived a very solitary life. Hey. It helps quiet mind. Keep the memories at bay. Okay. Fierce to Fathom, they got it with this one. They got the tunes on deck. Yo, Fierce to Fathom, hit my line. I'm a good rapper. Y'all just ain't hear the good side of me yet. If y'all ever need tunes in the back, say less, baby. Don't worry about it. I've always loved the great outdoors. Honestly, yeah, the outdoors is one of the most beautiful things uh, life has gifted us. Just being surrounded by nature it gives me happiness. Yo, I felt that so many ways, man. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Right? Yo, bro, nature just be that type of vibe. Kayla Nelson blowing up my phone again. Let me pause over. Uh, I remember the dinner was passing around. They have best burgers in town. You have to try them. I could really use a good meal before the star staffing starts. Thanks, okay? Hey, what's that bell right here? Yo, they got some fire tunes, but yeah, anyways, back to what I was saying. Nature, though. You can't go wrong with nature, man. They just really pretty. Puts you in a mood, a mood of gratitude and uh, a state that you can't really live unless you're there. You know what I mean? You just kind of have to experience it. What the hell? My game just froze. Space to press space to get up. They said park here, right? Hold on. Do I park here? Am I at the right right area? Uh. Hold on. What? Dude! Saw the diner. Uh, Kayla was talking about. Okay. Well, oh, damn. Let's park in here and get some dinner. It was a, it was a little bumper love. That's all it was, y'all. Just a little bumper love. Who that? Hold on. I'm going to just park this RV right here. There you go. Mm. And we're going to get out of this RV. Can't really see, but let's go eat some dude food. Dude, let's go eat some dude. Nice, nice. Uh, who's this? Hello. Yo, he is messing that thing up. Yo, he was fucking it up, man. Good, good stuff. I'm about to give me one too. I'm about to be just like him on my AMSR level. Oh, yeah. Diner. Tasty food here. Well, we about to be the judge of that. I be the best food critic there is. Hello? Got okay. Y'all got my food, baby? Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Not too bad. Oh, wait. I got to pick which one. I thought it was like me reading it. You know what I'm saying? Like, get it? Because, like, good. How about you? Not too bad. Uh, good. How about you? Feel free to take uh, any seat you'd like, and I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. All right. Serving uh, burgers and fries and a milkshake and flip-flops is crazy. And what do you have here? Why would you just bring a shovel here? I just knew you packed somebody up in the dirt two minutes ago. All right. Let me sit over here. I like being away from everybody. Plus, I like to, you know what I'm saying, face the door. So that way I can see any uh, opponents or anybody coming my way. It's my anxiety. <whistles> my food right here, ma'am. Uh, good evening. Barbara, are you uh, ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? All right, let's see what we've got on the menu. Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings. Yeah, I ain't feeling that combo. Uh, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Eh, I ain't feeling that combo. Ha ha, our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Let me get a large Coke, a coffee, or a strawberry slush. Let me get a large Coke. Perfect. Anything else? No, that will be all. Thank you. That's it. Uh, that will be all. Great. I'll be, uh, bring the food out as soon as, uh, it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. I've always had this uh, bad habit of peeing before eating. Oh, let's go pee. Alright. Wait, oh, we. I thought we was missing the toilet seat. Look away, guys. What y'all watching me do my business for? Alright. Let's 
Let's take a seat. It's a nice little lovely day, right? Ooh. Put that back. Put that over here. Just gotta make sure all my uh, utensils are here, you know? Hey, maybe the napkin box. Hey, how you doing? Let me, uh... First of all... Wait, consuming? Wait, where'd the ketchup bottle go? Alright, we messing that thing up too. Wait, come on, wait! I can't dibble that with my toes and some fries? What? Oh, we different. I figured it'd be a while. Before I had to... Wait, what? What did it say? Bro. Kayla. Kayla Nelson keep texting my phone. Hold on. Shorty, let me finish my thing. Damn, I, I didn't even get to dip my fries in no ketchup. All right, Wiley. Can I even, like, taste the f taste the sauce? Let me check my phone. So, did you know I'm going? How is it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. No, we're done eating. Let mama here take this. Did you uh, enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Uh, check, please. Be right back. Thank you. Pick that up while you at it. Uh, told you, he. Uh, this food reminds me. Uh, uh, you should send me that cat case roll recipe we we're talking about. Cassie roll? What is that? I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of uh, cuisine. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's the check. Your total is six dollars. Uh, you know what? I always like the tip. 50% tip is crazy for a six dollar check. You want three dollars? See, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got money, but I ain't got that much money. We gave you a little 15% tip, man. Take it or leave it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Thanks. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? If you don't tip, uh, hold on, let me finish reading. I might get a chance to immerse uh, in the RCC and then the lookout. Oh, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Okay. Well, let's leave. Yeah, uh, something about tipping, man. You got to tip something. At least to show your love and appreciation for that waiter that brought your food out. But now, however, hold on, what's, what's you eating? Hey man, I'm a little hungry. Can I go on a piece of burger? Alright. Yeah, but uh, tipping, you gotta tip something. You definitely gotta tip something, man. Show like your love for that appreciation. If it was up to me though, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'd go in the back of there and get my food myself. And this dude still. That's your seventh one or what, buddy? He's still chomping away. Scan this RV. Oh, wait. Wrong side. Hey. Wait, what? I, I didn't leave my door closed. Oh, I did leave my door closed. Who's in here? Wait, that homeless man was gone from the RV. Throw that back there. It's not the RV. Sorry, the, the diner. Damn, I'm tripping out. Hold on, the homeless man with the shovel. I didn't see him on my way out. Better not have came in here and used my bathroom. All right, we out, baby. Look both ways. Hey, back to the tunes we go. Hey, I'm playing tunes in my RV. 8.02 p.m., baby. Bitch, shut the fuck up, bitch. Are we still driving? Hey. It's a nice little cozy ride. What's that noise? What's that noise? I want to include the location of this park. But uh, I don't want anyone seeking out the other horrors I've seen in these woods. Turn the radio off. Get into business. Drove past the trailer at first. Oh no, guys, I don't like this. My car ain't working. Let me back up. When reverse, here? I'm parking my trailer like we about to go on go time. Hold on. I'm on go time with it.
Hey, Billy. You serious? They don't give me no flashlight? Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. Oh, you scared me. You scared me. One of who? Hey, Lord. Have mercy. Wait. May Lord have mercy. I'm, I got so scared. So <laughs> I got so scared. I didn't see that was an M. And I couldn't put the two to two. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, no. Nah, I'm not a camper. You're Billy, right? Still to report here. Before I'm the new transfer and fire. Oh, is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring uh, this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Okay, buddy. Dude almost got popped in his face. Man, I'm quick with it. Close this door. Dude, what the? Mother. Okay, pal, you're good. Go. You're gonna go. Uh, so you staffed that fire tower level. Okay. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left on staff for this season, but here are your keys. Can I just stay with you? Let me open the trail gate for you. Sure, 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 sure. How are you walking through the door closed? I'm bring my RV. Hold on, buddy. Got to close the door. Is he following me? Oh, buddy, don't follow me. He's following me. I'm not supposed to drive. Uh, since you're arriving late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. You be careful. Take this. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Not for our purpose. When you get to your tower, be sure your first to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you caught this safely. If needed, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. You're your closest contact, and in case of emergency. Thank you, Billy. What? Hey. Here's a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a or north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods. That way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Sure. I thought you were trying to scare me, but you looked that serious. So how the hell am I supposed to know where I'm going? Why can't I drive my RV through this? I left my bag in the RV at first. Well, let's go get it. I forgot about it. Well, let's go get the bag. Wait, did not mean to drop that. Let's go get this bag. I wish I could drive. And if I get another jump scare like that, I'm gonna pull my pants. Truthfully. I don't know how much uh, scaring I could take. Okay, thank God I didn't have to hike through that by myself. Eleven thirty two PM. Tower eleven. Well, I'm here, y'all. This? Uh, tower 11. This way. I ain't even reading what's over to my right. Living in a fire tower is not a cool one in this job. Glamorous. Sorry. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. There's 
Not for everyone. I've always had. Wait, what? I sent to the stairs. To the top of the tower. I send it. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to open fires. Anything out of the ordinary. Well, first of all, this uh, cabin is filled with uh, the aroma of water, giving me a sense of comfort. Alright, can I turn the light on by chance? Wait, I need that. Wait, forgot to turn on the generator first. Where the freak is that? Wait, my bag. Where's the generator at? Anything else? Peeing? I'm peeing from the tower. Pooping? I'm sticking my butt out. I threw it off the tower. Wait, through what? Hold on. I ain't even reading. I'm scared. Hey. Um, uh, turn this flash. Wait, no. Turn the flashlight off. Let's go ahead and uh, throw our stuff up here. All right. Microwave. Ooh. Okay. Wildfire. Oh, wait. I'm about to burn this whole. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Road spray? I don't know. Let me put his flashlight down, too. Let's take a look. Hmm. Iron Bark Fire Department. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. How the fuck we know what time it is? I need the lights on. I'm sorry, Bobby. I can't see. Uh, supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests on the lookout. System password is Iron Bark. Tower number. We're feeling the generator tune. Uh, update the reporting software routine. No video games in the system. Remember, call your sister station before you sleep. Okay. Well, what time is it? So it was 11:02 p.m. Right. <clears throat> I have to report for tonight. All right. Uh, radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. All right. Stat. Dick. Iron Bark 11. Oh. Uh, Iron Bark 11. Hey, I'm in. Goofy ass computer. Uh, hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. Service reporting. Uh, temperature. I'm going to the state. I'm going to the service reporting out. New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Uh, what was this? Connor, Fire Tower 12. I saw oh. your light turn on. Ah, uh, you want to watch the job, but had to cover your area until you arrived. Cool. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a chance. Change. I'm a transfer from my An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. You got a fire going? Uh, no. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Well... Let's go ahead and get a fire going. I've never used one of these. Okay, it's like a giant compass size of a pizza. Um. Wait. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up? 
job yet? I'm, I'm trying to. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Oh, it's a wood stove. What? Boy, I'm about to just turn this furnace on. Oh, this. Sorry, I didn't see it. I'm sorry, guys. Where's the wood at? Yo. <laughs> Yo. I can't even go down and get wood. Where do I get wood? There's no fire. No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The staff are always on the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Storage shack? Where's that at? Where's this storage shack at? Okay, now it's letting me go down. Bro, are y'all sure it's safe? Okay. Just making sure nobody's out there. Anything else I need? Probably not. I hope not. Okay. Need to light it up. Wait, what? Gasoline? Go. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Yep. It's nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? No. How do I do that? Did you report for the night yet? No, let Better me get, get to it. it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Okay. Let's see, well, how would I report? Maybe I can get this. Or no, that wouldn't work. I need a thermostat. Okay, the temperature was 46.6. Okay. So I had to be exact. You have to literally click on it. Uh, what is this? Not. Okay. So that's the 46.6 and 19. 46.6 .6 and 19. And it was clear. Hey, I got it. Okay. You copy, new guy? Uh, yep. I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Thank Don't you. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Mm, Port submitted. 11.32. It's currently 11.32. Okay. Well, I think I am going to go to bed, too. Yep. Let's go to bed. And let's sleep. Next morning, 3 3.26 a.m. Okay, let's get up. Hello? Connor? I had to pee. Bro, you better dangle your wee wee out here. The lights must stay off. Remember that. Where'd I put the flashlight? On the first night, being out of the cabin gave me a strange feeling. Bro, 
what? Damn. Left alone here was unsettling. Thank you. Hey. We paying. Don't like that. Let's go back to sleep. Night two. Oh, it's just you in the wind. Time just melts away. Hey, well, wow, what a beautiful vibe, though. What a beautiful vibe, y'all. Let's take a photo. It's kind of fire. I make that one my Twitter wallpaper. And we're gonna take another photo, but oh, we get the birds in there. Fire. Fire. Hey, let's get to work, baby. New guy, you copy? Yep. This is Connor. Connor from Tower 12. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Tower 11. Do you copy? Uh, yeah. Copy that. Connor, what's up? I'm right there. I'm right here. Son of a bitch. What? What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Uh, let me have a look. North of my position. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at my handy dandy compass. And let's go ahead, man. I can't even read a compass. It's smoke. Oh wait, it's right there. Okay. I need you to confirm. Yep. Yep. Do you see that smoke up north? Yep. 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 I do. Yes, sir. You spot that white smoke? It yeah, I see. In the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Okay. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? I. Uh, Safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray. You should be fine. Okay. Very nice. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Sounds good. So basically what you're saying is, uh... Yeah, done for. Pick up my flashlight, get the bear spray. That's what it was. Alright, we lit. Let's go check it out. Can't be, uh... Nothing dangerous. Be sure we'll be alright. I'm hoping. Still need my flashlight. I can walk through the woods, okay. Oh, no, I lied, I can't. Thirty-seven p.m. What the f yeah. boy? Y'all don't give me an ATV to ride through this. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. But by the time I got there, it's that creepy noise. I feel like somebody coming. Hello, y'all can't be camping here. I got bear spray. I will use it. Why is Kayla blowing up? Oh, hell no. Nah. Guys, somebody's coming. I knew I needed to put out the campfire before heading back to the tower. Okay. Well, thank you, game. Uh, this is somebody's campfire, though. You know what I mean? 
the hell do you want me to do? Get the water? Oh, bucket. Dude, I just... What if I played with somebody's life right there? I hear something. I heard something. 9.07 p.m. Oh, as I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Tower 11. I'm coming back home. Home is home. I wouldn't mind this job. I won't even lie to you. I, I wouldn't mind. Yo, imagine I actually get this job and I just start doing I can record and edit from this tower up here. Granted, they might not have the best service. Spraying. I could really be out here. I have to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. All right. Con Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor. Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. This is the third time this month alone. Hmm. Anything else you notice in those woods? Yep. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Mmm, definitely sound like a man. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Huh? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Why were those kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. Started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Hmm. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Nah, you know what? If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Will do. Over and out. Alright. So he's gonna keep me updated. Gonna go ahead and throw this. It's 932. You know what I'm saying? Kayla. Uh, so she sent the recipe. Shorty look kind of good and clean with it. So, Jay, by the way, look what I got at home. Okay. Got it. Alright. And. Okay. Now we're just looking for the pasta right here. Hey, did it. Alright. Put this uh, bad boy in the oven. And now we make food. Go ahead and uh, close all that. New guy, you there? Yep. New guy, you copy? Buddy, I already clocked off. I don't know what you want. Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. Okay. Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing. Uh, that's what we're leaving. Okay. I'll we'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. Thanks. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? Uh, I was just Better getting get to it. Mitch didn't sound to be in a 
Cloudy or clear, and it's 46. Go ahead and uh, 46, 18, and uh, look like a little cloudy. Number of hikers assisted is zero. Uh, Ricardo. Play Fortnite on that. That OG Fortnite coming back. I'm about to install that. I liked eating in bed. Boy, this shit hot. Oh my god. What? Okay. This look good. Won't even lie to you. I want some of this. Save leftovers? Question mark? I was already full. Thank you. Put this in the fridge. Let's have a drink. Guess not. Alright. I was getting cold. Tired. Get the stove lit. Oh, hell. Let's go get some wood. A little cold. Just want some wood. I hear someone. I hear someone. Jesus, man. Who that? Who that? Who that outside? Get inside. Where's my thing? Close the boards outside before heading to bed. Close the what outside? Oh, the boards? Bro, I just heard someone out there, Bobby. Please. Can't get that one. these chunks. Good night. 2.27 a.m. Oh, Lord. What's making me wake up? Someone's outside. Someone's outside.
Someone's here. Who, who did that? Who did that? Quarter, quarter cops. I don't know what to make of this at that moment. That's that devil shit. Contact Connor. Connor, do you copy? Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you, Sergeant. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. Wait until morning. I don't think these are kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. I've watched too many horror movies. This feels like a ritual. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. All right, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Lock the door. There's not much else I could have done in the dark. Go to sleep. I guess we'll go to sleep. Night three. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Kind of tried to reason as it is a harmless break by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Wow, we can't even get to see the day. I can probably most of my days either with these simple minutes and around the tower. With what? Please, someone answer. Um, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Uh, I hear you loud and clear. Who's this? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going I, on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? What is your current location? What command do you have with you? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. You remember any landmarks? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map. If he takes the left, he comes to me. If he takes the left, he comes to me. But he's down there. What's all that noise, y'all? Yeah? Uh, hello? 
Shut up. Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. I'm working on it, buddy. I gotta make sure I'm safe, too. There's no map here. Alright, I'm gonna tell him to uh, go left. I'm at a trail intersection now, but <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Uh, you're welcome. I'm right here! I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not me. That's Wh what? I see you behind the trees to my right. Um, that's not me. You you're freaking me out. I'm gonna open that door. Holy moly. What took oh, it's a supply guy. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What are you up to, pal? I was just assisting uh, I was assisting uh, I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord have mercy be merciful. Anyways, got your tire supplies here. Just to use those specials. Okay. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north? Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around there, pal. I was required to investigate a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there. These woods are normal. And there's stuff out there that wouldn't love to that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be uh, quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to help you out. Keep your hopcar out here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. Uh, I've been hearing you've been on the bit of everything, every edge of everything. Uh, Mention the school. Oh Lord, have mercy. You keep saying that. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No. Uh, you know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better uh, get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies, man. I was too hungry to go to bed with that food. Well, I got that leftover. The food was cold. Motherfucker. <sighs> I hate picky people. Well, let me get the temperature at least. 58.4. Six and cloudy for sure. Fifty-eight point four, twenty-six and cloudy for sure. Fifty-eight point four, twenty-six. Wait, uh, weather condition? It's not right. Fifty-eight point four. I'll uh, retype it. Fifty-eight point four. Uh, it was definitely wind. Windy, there you go. Okay. Well, before we eat, I'd also like to uh, close these. Not to sob it, you know what I'm saying? We also need a campfire, right? Yep. Fuck me. Going down there. Just too hungry. Boy. Why am I binoculars right here? Go 
eat in bed because my boy yeah, likes to eat in bed. It's probably going to be our last meal. Because we about to die right after this. Bitch, who is you? Not to be no, 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 Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reaches the right place. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Absolutely. From some fires. I'm at the burn and no amount of the. Boy, I can't read, bro, because it's like every. I'm sorry, hold on. Let me, let me take a break. My heart. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of. Prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can be controlled no matter how it can't be controlled how my how hard we try it. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. You wait for the land to purify itself. It's getting late. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember, curiosity kills the cat. Farewell, Jack. That guy gave out the creepiest vibe. Yeah, I don't even know if I'll do another night, y'all. Can't stand this game. What you mean? New guy. You there? Yeah. What you mean? Don't tell me you're not in there. Bro, stop playing these games with me. You copy now. This is Jack. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. I ran into a radio tower. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower? <sighs> is this about yesterday? What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? Tower's been out of service for ages now. Okay. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Look, who did I just talk to? What you're saying is true. It could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. He knew your name. You think he's been listening? Disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. I got Anyways, this. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Tower 12, signing off. Bro, oh, there ain't gonna be no next time. 9.18 p.m. You guy, you got a minute? Uh, I'm listening. Well, Good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted uh, me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. Alright. Uh... I might have killed the guy. 
this was the map right here. All the radio tower. Huh, okay. Plague.exe. <laughs> Uh, looks like you're ready to take on some zombies. Flash drive media. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? And, that on my show. To me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? Huh? Yeah. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say CONGRATULATIONS! You have been commissioned by the Iron Bark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job with powers. Or to know what color the smoke is, it is best that we have those recorded. Quickly gather it out at first. I should have watched this in the beginning. Catch. I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular little water there. <laughs> A little weird. All right. Uh... Welcome. Uh, help. C H H U P D. C A H. Oh, C H K U P D. Uh, updates found. Okay. All right, I updated it. <laughs> the hell? Power was out. Generator run out of gas. I wish I told me this. I'm kind of scared, bro. This might be the ending. I'm hoping. How the fuck? I was getting cold, I had to pee. Why did I have one week later? What? Why did I have to watch my mic? Time was flying by. Connor January is on the arenas, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there's no fire going, the only thing I do is check in on Connor's twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. 2 34 a.m. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. I'm up. Jack, you copy? Okay, tell you 
what? I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Okay. And now I'm seeing this. What? I'm seeing more smoke in my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Dude. I'm not going down there, bro. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to quit right here. I'm gonna have to quit right here. Dude. You know, I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. What? If they don't run away this time, take your photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. What are they doing? That's a call. <gasps> what? Oh God, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Hide, 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 hide. I do. I had to make a run where? That's where we gotta run. Oh god, he's coming. I'm sh I'm sh I'm sprinting, I'm shitting! I'm sprint I'm shifting! Hey! Yo! Wow! I was holding my shift button! Where was I going to run? Oh, hell nah. Abandon. I'm going to reload it. What if I go to the bathroom? Let's, let me try that. Bro, there's no way. I'm going to take this photo of them, right? They right there. I don't know who they quoting up. <gasps> Look, they already seen me. Look at this. Now he's coming up here, right? Cool, cool beans, cause now I'm about to hide. Boom. Okay, now watch. Look, 
Watch. I'm going to peep this corner. My man's is going to be right here. Oh. Boom. Awkward conversation. All right. Boom. Shift the sprint. Right? Turn the flashlight on. How is homeboy running faster than me? Like, bro, I got to make it to the pooping floor. That didn't make it. I can't. I can't. I can't see. The game is like 240p quality. Some shitty ass answer. Fuck a party. I ain't doing this. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs>